but no man is an island. But according to our small mind at large, Jonathan Walton, he can be a volleyball team. <sighs> The kids at Galveston Middle School were in for a real treat because Bob Holmes, otherwise known as the one-man volleyball team, showed up to play a team of the school's teachers. Were you good at volleyball as a kid? No, I've never played on a team in high school or college. So how did you get this gift? <laughs> 16,400 games in 5,000 gyms. If the teachers lose this game, the kids get no homework. You'd think that a team of able-bodied adults could beat one guy at volleyball, right? But you'd be wrong. Is it that you're really good or they're really bad? No, I think a lot of my shots... Because they weren't good. Yeah. Bob beat the team of teachers 21 to 5. 12 of you, one of him. How'd you let it happen? Well, that was only one of me. Ah. <laughs> Bo Scott had a smart answer for everything. I coach, so I know. And you're a coach? Right. Shame right. on you, sir. <laughs> In his defense, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, and Bo certainly isn't weak. Ow, oh, you punched yourself in the neck. Yeah. Why would you do that? Because it has muscles. Can I try? Yeah. I can punch you in the yeah. neck? Oh, please. I've never punched a guy in the neck. <laughs> After the game, volleyball whiz Bob Holmes gave a sobering presentation on the dangers of drinking and driving and explained why he does what he does. I want to keep people from ending up like this and like this. Turns out the volleyball playing was just a compelling way to get the kids' attention. Yeah. Take a little punch in my neck. <laughs> little. Uh, Ow! Is that little? That's little. If you played volleyball like you punch people in the neck, you'd have beat them. Yeah, watch the old neck. If you want to get the one-man volleyball team to come to your school, check out Walton's blog. She's always hitting me in the neck, no, slapping me in the face no, too. The whole thing. Go to khou.com and click on Jonathan's head. Don't punch him in the neck, though.